I made it in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna visit this park real quick. It normally costs 20 euros, but I got here before it opens. It's only 7.45, it opens at 8.30. So I'm gonna try to visit it quickly. You go in the central and circular south, or the circular path north. Meet the giant. Here's an example. This palm tree is humongous. It's so tall. I've never seen such a tall palm tree. Just one branch. One branch is like 50 feet high. That's the most interesting thing about this place. The nice thing about this park is that everything is neatly taken care of. They chop down the bushes. You can see the plants nicely. It's not so jungly. It's easy to see. Wow, oh, look at that. That's the biggest plant ever. Oh man, here it is. The Coco de Mer. The female version. Here you can see it. It's humongous. There was a palm tree growing right in the middle, but they had to chop it down. Now, I'm gonna see how long it takes me. I got here at 7.45, so it might take an hour to 8.45 or 9. Let's see. South and central. Wonder which way we wanna go. I can go to the right and see the Palm and Pandanus Grove. It's a three minute walk this way. At least this path is cleared and there's rocks or steps. So it's a lot easier to navigate through. We found it. Here's the pandanus fruit. It's a very interesting fruit. You can make juice from this too. This forest is really incredible. I'm amazed. It seems like you're an ant. Because everything is humongous. Like even this branch right here, the whole palm leaf is about longer than me, probably about seven or eight feet, especially on the width. If you talk about the height, it's about 10 feet. Continuing up, I'm gonna check out what else I find. What we need to find is the male version of the plant, which I saw yesterday, but I wanna see it in this park. And here's another bunch of plants, way up to the top. After you see one plant, they all start to look the same. So after being in here about 10 minutes, I think I've seen everything. But I'm just gonna go around this trail to see where it leads. And if it has anything else that's interesting to view, maybe some signs or some descriptions. The pathway is definitely easy to walk on. As expected, I did find something interesting. 
I found some interesting looking red mushrooms. They're kind of tiny. They're growing from the bottom of this coconut palm. I'm wondering what it is. Area. They're actually trying to see how much rainfall Prowling gets. So they cleared out this area and made this pipe to gauge how much rain falls. There it is. So you can get an idea of the size of this palm tree. I'm here and this palm tree is humongous. This one's definitely 10 feet high. Just the leaf alone. Here are some fruit bearing palms. This one, for example, there's the nut. Largest nut in the world. Just to give you an idea of how large this nut is, it weighs between 15 kilos to 30 kilos, which is about between 30 to 60 pounds. So imagine carrying one of these nuts at 60 pounds. That'd be pretty difficult, especially the large ones. Here's a simple palm, but looking down at the bottom, you can see thorns. That looks pretty interesting. They're all spikes. This palm branch fell down. It takes over the space of about 15 feet from this tree. So actually there's two tours that are included with your price. You can have one at 9 a.m and another one later in the afternoon. However, if you want to take a group tour that's privately organized, not during those times, it will cost 1,000 rupees, which is about $70. So hopefully your group is big enough to make that worthwhile. But they'll explain to you all the indigenous plants and the history and give you an idea of this. whole place. I just finished on the south. I can go down the central if I want to return. But I'm going to take the north one now. Up this way. To uh, make the full circle. We can hear some birds up there. What is this? I made it back. Cedar path. Central path. Oh, I'm actually on the central path now. I'm making my way back. I'm pretty much finished this whole park. It took about 45 minutes. This is gigantic. It looks small, but it's actually really big. See this bench? It's actually on wooden stilts. They put lining around this because it has spikes on the original uh, trunk. So they wanted to protect customers here. I'm from the US, how about you? Where are you from? We are from India. India, what city? Kerala. Kerala? Kerala. Oh, nice to meet you. What's your, your name? Your name is Faisal. Faisal? Uh, I'm Jason. Jason. So where do you go now? You are the vice. Huh? 
you play uh, 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 the working? No, I'm a tourist. A tourist? Okay. Yeah. Where do you go? Yes. Where do you go? You go to Kodor. Where? Kodor, Kodor, Kodor. Ah, oh, okay. You go to Kodor shop or what? Oh, what's this guy doing? <laughs> He's uh, parked in the wrong direction. Here we have a small market here in Bay Saint Anne. They got these fruits, these vegetables, and these vegetables here too. Yeah? Start. All right, it's nice. Thank you. No problem. I miss it. All right. So, are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. So we'll pack up and then go. Are you gonna wear this to the airport too? Yeah. All right. Morning, Sheila. So today we're gonna uh, visit Ans Lazio, which is the furthest beach you can go on the right side of the island. And then we're gonna come back here and pick up our luggage and head to the airport. But before we go to the airport, we're gonna stop at this cafe called Whole Foods Market. What do you think? Yeah. It's good? All right, let's go. It takes 11 kilometers to get there. So that's what, 20 minutes at most? So what do you think of Pralin so far? Oh. I got a ride here in Bay Saint Anne. Yeah, Bay Saint Anne. How far do you go? I'm going to Kodor. Uh, it takes us into uh, like 15 minutes. Kodor. 10, 10, 15 minutes? 15 minutes, yeah. All right, good. And we got Sheila in the back. <laughs> <laughs> So, are you going to visit a friend or go to work? Yeah, I'm going to. Today I'm off actually, I'm a boat charter. Oh, okay. I'm a boat charter and... Uh, so, you're going home? And now, today I'm off. And, uh, the, the weather is not that good today. Yeah, not so good today. So, um, get ready for tomorrow. You know, it's good. Have a little rest, you know. <laughs> but I'm a hard worker, you, you know. Think, you think tomorrow the weather will be better? Yeah, well, if the rain falls today, yeah. Maybe tomorrow might get better. Yeah. All right, good. But now we are at the end of the winter, you know? Yeah. So for us, it's, that's the winter here. All right, good to hear. You know? <laughs> Here's a nice guest house and restaurant. They got the water dripping down from the chain right here. This small river has such nice sand because it's right next to the ocean on the other side. It's good. Sunglasses off. <laughs> no sun today. This is such a white sand beach. I don't think I've seen a white sand beach like this in a long time. It's completely white. Nice thing is, it's a little cloudy today, so not so bright, so... But it is pretty uh, hard on the eyes. 
that camera away. Oh man. <laughs> so you're anti cameras too? <laughs> <laughs> so you're enjoying this beach so much, huh? You came yeah. a second time. It's good. Oh, but you live here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty nice. This is Sheila. Hi. That's me. How, what did you have for breakfast? Or did you find the restaurant? Oh, I um, just had. had Stuff from the grocery store? Yeah. Uh, like us. <laughs> that's pretty good. So today's a little cloudy. Uh, what time do you go to La Digue? Um, leave here about 4. 4 p.m.? Okay, that's pretty good. We're going to go to uh, Lanzio and then we're going to head back, pick up our luggage, and then go to the airport by 3. So, anything special happen today? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Chill out here, okay? No, it's pretty good. Alright. I want you to, to record the word. All right. Okay, go then. All right, there it is. What's the last word? Begayo? Yes, yes, do it like that. I love you, Begayo. So that's the mystery part, the Begayo. What's that mean? I want you to record me no, no talking, no words. Now you've spoiled it. We don't have to talk. But I got mystified by the last word. You cannot know it. Ah. Okay, I'll don't start talk. again, okay? Yeah, don't talk. Okay. All right, I got it. Do you have any Let comments? No. No? Let you, me see. You want to see the video? Yeah. Okay, let me show you. One, two, and three. Another pose? Yeah. I'll just move the camera to get different poses. Okay, go then. You want me to ask? Yes, call him around. <laughs> Don't record me. No. <laughs> Says you can touch it. Hi. Yeah. How many years did it take? Seven. Seven years? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and it's real. <laughs> Your uh, original Seychelles? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? 19? Hmm? How old are you? 19? Yeah. 28. 28? Yeah. So you started when you were 21? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a long time. This is cute. Yeah. <laughs> you have to... Do you have to put special products in it? No. It's all completely natural? Yeah, natural. Ah, okay. <laughs> The yeah? Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Can you do it yourself? I uh. have huh? <laughs> Give me. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He takes good care of it. <laughs> No. Oh, yeah. Inside here. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some more. Can you can you take a picture with him? Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wow! <laughs> Okay, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And one more. <laughs> one, two, and three. Okay, wh one last one. One, two, and three. And I'll do it with the flash, okay? Wait. <laughs> okay, one with the flash. And I'll do one this way. One, two, and three. Okay. <laughs> wow. Here. Wow. <laughs> Wait, honey. When I'm here. One here too? <laughs> okay. Yeah? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Only Terry! Terry! Can you see them? Yeah, I see them all. Okay, here we go. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Zoom in. Zoom in. Okay, here we go. How about that one? Can you see? Okay, here we go. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. One, two, and three. <laughs> How do they go that here? I don't know, ask them. I think it's just natural. Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, don't. <laughs> That's a big one, huh? But they're not Jamaican. They're not? No, he's not a Jamaican. He's a local. Huh? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> local, local. That's a Jamaican flag, but it's not a Jamaican. Let's take a photo, okay? We got all kinds of fruits here, small watermelons, even the smallest as, uh, as my palm. Guavas, bananas, papayas, tomatoes, and this is called the water apple. Hey, what? It's not straight. I'll do it myself. All right, we got plenty of fruits here. This, this is the cherimoya, but they have different names around the world. The guava. The most interesting thing is this one. It's the watermelon. It's so small. But the other ones are small too. This one is the size is slightly bigger than this one. We got passion fruits. Bananas, star fruits. And the custard apple. This one's custard apple. It's very uh, interesting inside. It's mushy. And this one, I'm not sure. I got stumped on that one. I'm gonna have to ask him. Hey, is this a watermelon? Yeah. <laughs> it's such a small watermelon. <laughs> How about this one? Egg fruit. Egg, egg fruit. This is egg fruit. Okay. Same as the avocado. Oh, really? Egg fruit. As you eat the avocado, this also is the same. Are you the owner of this? No. 
No? But this is this is like avocado, egg yeah. fruit. But is it sweet? Yes, same as the avocado. Ah, okay. Same as the avocado. Wow, so... Fishing fruit, guava, local apple, custard fruit, just open. Yeah, I know. And, the, and this is the best, sour soup. Sour soup? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Star food, cockatoo, cockatoo drink, jack food there, the big one here. Yeah, we're going to go here. Oh, yeah, we don't come for we don't boom to this woman. Oh, man. Can a picture? Yeah, you guys are really good decorators. <laughs> Try to make a living. Try to survive. Let's continue on to Lanzio Beach. On to Lanzio, we have to go on the other side. Can we get a ride? Yeah. We're going to La Ant Lanzio. That's it. Huh? That's the good ride. ride because I'm just going there down there. Oh, I'm you're not, not going, going far? No, no, I'm not going so far. <laughs> How far? Very far for you to go, my friend. How many minutes? How many minutes? Not many hours. How far can you take us? I can take you from there, then you will, you can. I can take you there, maybe you have to give me something because I have to fuel the car. It's not. I I'll, just get, get, I'll, car. Get, I'll get the next one, okay? You get the next one, maybe yeah. you get a trip, no problem. Okay. All right. Maybe the next one will stop. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We've been waiting like 20 minutes. It's been difficult. <laughs> you're lucky. Yeah, we're lucky. And you're going directly to Lanzazio. <laughs> so where are you guys from? Greenland Island. Which one? Greenland Island. It's a French island. Oh, Reunion. Yeah, Reunion, yeah. Ah, Reunion, okay. Yeah. You, I thought you called it La Reunion. We, La, yes. La ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First time to Seychelles for you? First time, yeah, first. All right. First time to Praline for me. Uh, to Poland? I've been, no, to Praline. Ah, Praline. Yeah. I've been to Mahe once before. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You ever been and to Ladik? Ladik? Yeah, I went to Ladik yeah. for two days. Yeah. Very great. nice. Very nice, yeah. They don't rent you cars, only bicycles. Yeah. yeah. It's a little island, yeah. Yeah. Only bicycles, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, thanks for the ride. You're welcome. What was You're your welcome. names? Jonathan. And? Aurélie. Aurélie, huh? Aurélie. Aurélie, oh yeah. <laughs> I've seen that name once before. <laughs> That was easy. This couple from La Reunion picked us up, took us all the way here to the beach. We're gonna go visit this beach quickly, see what it's all about. There is a restaurant here that they have called Le Chevalier Bay. You know French? Yeah. What does it mean? I think it means the the horse bay. Chevalier. What does it mean? Here's Bonbon Plume restaurant. There it is. Avoid swimming without the presence of a lifeguard. Oh, it looks pretty nice. Wow, this beach has a shower. That's impressive. I should have came here yesterday, then I could have gone swimming. I only go swimming if there's a shower available. Now let's go check it out. Hey kitty kitty. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have came here yesterday. Instead, I was hiking up in those mountains to get to that other beach. This one's quite popular. Lots of people on the beach. It's a good place to go. 
showering. Lots of rocks, those famous rocks. Meow. Hey, kitty, kitty. How are you? Are you okay? Hey, Sheila. Hey, do you want to go get some photos? You're finished? Are you sure? <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll go back. You're getting your hair wet. Oh yeah, you don't have a head. You have a headache. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Why? Are you looking at that thing? Hey, so hitchhiking in the Seychelles is not dangerous? No, it's not dangerous. Not at all. Not like in your country. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. <laughs> so the things that happen in America won't happen here? I don't think so. <laughs> if any American comes here, I can tell him he can be in peace and hitchhike. Of course. Alright, so no carjackings, no serial killers. <laughs> no, no my friend. We live uh, with uh, tourism, eh? we need tourists uh, to make our living. Okay, yeah, I support the economy too by staying at the hotels. Yeah. So, I enjoyed my stay here. Alright, well thanks very much for the ride, I appreciate it. You're welcome. We'll make it to the airport in time. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Whole Foods, I'm curious if it's the same one. Fresh Market and Cafe. They say it's real expensive. I wonder if it is. This is Whole Foods, Fresh Market, and Cafe here in the Seychelles. The important thing about this thing is this couple who is Seychellois and Seychellois, they're a local couple, they lived in Florida and they really liked shopping at Whole Foods. So they decided to come back with this idea to make a fresh, local, organic, as much as possible store. And they sell all kinds of stuff inside. They I've had this open for the last four years and it's been a success, lots of people come here. They also have a cafe where you can eat at. There's even wine that you can buy. So they have a Filipino that works here, uh, not with her family, she's here alone. And local vegetables, organic eggs, fresh bread, coffee, and here's an electric vehicle. It's really interesting. They even have bicycles to hire, I guess. So it's a nice place to visit when you're here in the Seychelles, in Pralin. Here's another view from afar. And the unique thing about this place is they changed the O to have the Coco de Mer. So it's unique to the Seychelles. I'm back here at Pralin Domestic Airport. We're gonna catch our flight on a Twin Otter to Mahe, which is only about a 15 minute flight. So we'll see how it unfolds.
Hi. All right, hey, question. How much is your Coco de Mer? <laughs> You're shy? <laughs> Seven thousand five hundred, but it says seven thousand there. What's the five hundred for? Um, this one's seven thousand five hundred. Maybe change the price. Oh, okay. Can you buy the male version or only the female? Uh, you can, but we don't have. Them. You don't sell that one, but you can buy it maybe somewhere else. Probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Sometimes you see people buy it. Well, no. Not really. Not Even Just once per year, no. <laughs> This has been so many years there, huh? How many years have you worked here? No, I don't have years here. I have months. Oh, really? How many months? Maybe six. Six? And in six months, nobody bought it? Um, well, uh, they just put that one there. So what about this one? They just put that Really? <laughs> they sold them to that way here already. Ah, uh, but it was before your time? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> Plane just arrived. Race taxing pretty fast. Here's the twin otter that we're going to take to the Havlin twin otter 400. What happened? <laughs> Something fell? No! <laughs> Maybe from here? I want one too. <laughs> you get the window seat, yeah.
it was a 13 minute flight on air. From Prague to Monday. It was a good flight. Now we just have to connect to international terminal. Right there. This is the one. Mm -hmm. This is it. This way. Smile. Hey. Smile. Exactly. <laughs> Look this way. Okay. Mommy, you got you. Thank you. <laughs> no, take that food. Oh yeah, I forgot to take the food. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, it's a video now. <laughs> wow. Well, so you have really good food here. That's so nice. And all. All right. So this is actually this is the vegetable part. So let me get an extra plate so that you guys can share, yeah. No, no, it's okay. We can share from the same. All right. Also, you have the best phone in your model too. <laughs> I'm a freelance. That's good. Maybe it makes it easier when you're in Seychelles. All right, here we go. How is about the phone like this? Do I just show your finger? No, 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 no. It has to be with this. I'm just doing it. Uh, oh yeah, you're plastic. so professional. How about me, my friend? Uh, no, 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 no. Right now, what you're enjoying in a restaurant, like. If you would? Oh yeah, maybe. Alright. Oh man. That's funny, I see the Cyprus flag here. Not sure why that's there or here. Weather's not too great here. We got some low cloud layers over here. In the Seychelles, in Mahe Island, the ramp is too small. So there's only allowed to be like two or three airlines that are parked at the terminal, because there's really just three gates. So for all the other airlines that come here, and there's a lot, they have to park it at an off ramp over here. So I'm gonna go take a look at that one right now. We have Etihad's Airbus 320, and then Condor's airplane which is partnership with Thomas Cook. That's a Boeing 767, looks like. Let's see what the tail number is. A, B, U, P. On top of those two, we got Turkish Airlines Airbus 330 parked out here. And then there's a private jet parked here. Another private jet, one's a 737, a BBJ, and a Gulfstream. Well, that's a Global Express, and then a, what do you call it, a Dash 8. This one's an interesting one, it's uh, from PAL Aerospace. It's from uh, Canada. The reason Turkish Airlines is parked here is because they fly here only every other day. So the crew gets here and they wait two days and then they leave. So they have a 48 hour layover, just about. So that's why I can't leave tomorrow. I have to leave today. Oh, look at this one. This is a small bus. Yeah, Qatar Airways, Emirates, and then what's it called? Kenyan Airways. It's a older 700 series of Boeing. Weather's not great here, it's kind of rainy and misty. There they go. It'll take it. Okay, a picture. Yeah. Okay, my friend. I'm a casket the morning. Alright. Good. Good. Okay, great. Here I am in Mahe Island and I'm at the airport and okay. I met this person. What was your, what's your name? What? Idre. Idre. And uh, which uh, community were you born at? I was born at Victoria Hospital on Mahe Island. Oh, okay, so 
so you're local from this island. Okay, that's good. And how many islands in Seychelles have you visited? I've visited only like three. Just the main ones? Yeah, Robin and... Yes, and I did Oh, okay. And do you plan to visit like another one? Yes, I do, but I'm waiting for the time to be able to visit. Ah, uh, so you don't have enough time? Yes. Okay, good. And how long have you worked at the airport? It's been uh, three months now. Oh, so you do? Yes. And what was your last job? I was a customer service in Oh, okay, that's good. So that's nice. Um, have you have you traveled abroad? Yes, I have. I've been to Dubai, I've been to Bahrain, Singapore, and Mauritius. Okay, and how do you like the job? It's okay, but it's really tiring. It's eight hours. Yeah. Like sometimes it goes up to twelve hours. Okay. Uh, okay. But uh, what time will you get off today? At eleven p.m. Okay, good. So you, someone else is working the Congo flight. Yes. Uh, okay. All right. Well, nice to meet you. Thank you. Too. All right. Take care. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm fine. There's so many interesting things in here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's so colorful. I just wanted to look. No problem. Okay, thanks. So you get five vanilla sticks for 350 which is $25. So basically one stick is $5. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. And then honey is $225 for 330 grams. This comes from Mahe too, right? Yes. Takamaka. And the most important thing is this one. 400 for how many? This is... Um, 100 grams. Well, we can take this to airports. Because uh, normally we see it. Mm, okay. So that's a good size. I like that one. But you can buy one, try it next time when you come, you buy another one. Hello, sir. Oh. Okay.